Okay, so I've been thinking really hard for the past like couple hours about who I think could beat Thanos. But I was like, I'm not gonna do Marvel. I'm gonna do everyone I can think of outside of Marvel that could beat Thanos with the Infinity Gauntlet maxed out. So I'm gonna say who it is and I'm gonna say why they'd beat him. First, Batman. Batman would easily beat Thanos. I, I don't think it's a question. Everyone knows Batman with prep time can literally beat anyone. That's kind of the whole thing. You give Batman anywhere near as much time as the Avengers had, I mean, alone. That's easy. That's light work. He's only in number 10 because it's not really fair if you give Batman prep time. Without prep time though, I still think you can do it. Number nine, we have Goku. I haven't actually ever seen Dragon Ball or anything. Just, I've kind of heard a lot that Goku can beat everybody. I, I don't know. I believe that. He's, he's, I mean, look at him. He seems cool. Like he could probably do that. Number eight is Ben 10. So I watched this guy's video one time where he was like talking about why Ben 10 could beat Goku. So if Ben 10 can beat Goku and Goku can beat Thanos, obviously Ben 10 can beat Thanos. That's just, that's just how it works. So number seven is Mickey Mouse. This one might not make that much sense, but think about it. It was so annoying I, when I was watching it as a kid, every single time there was a problem, he'd just be like, oh, like let's use this mouse tool. And he pulled out some like thing and he suddenly could fix the whole problem. It's like, that's not fair. Like he's not trying at all. He just, everything's fixed for him. But obviously if he can do that, he can beat Thanos. Like that's not hard. He's gonna pull out the, oh, the negative infinity gauntlet. He claps and Thanos dies. Number six is definitely Minecraft Steve and Alex. So there's a thing in Minecraft called a raid farm where you farm raids and they drop a bunch of totems of them dying. And obviously Thanos can snap as many times as he wants it's only a 50 percent chance and if they die they just come back with the totem of undying it's not fair at all so if they just get some good enough like swords and stuff it's no problem it's very easy for them next is let me solo her he beats all these elden ring bosses with no armor and with a pot on his head i played that game for 10 minutes and i gave up and if he can do it without armor beating thanos is easy number four is the car from rocket league so the caveat for this one is you need a person with 4,000 plus hours in the game if you see what these guys can do it's like crazy they're like driving cars like off ceilings and stuff i can't drive my car off the ceiling if they can do that that kind of aptitude and that physical awareness they can definitely beat thanos a, a positive for them is they already don't have a life so it's like even if he snaps and the 50 percent chance hits or whatever there's nothing to take away so easy win for the rocket league car next is eminem thanos can fight and he can do all this stuff like if he has tears in his eyes everything's blurry he can't fight like that i mean this is an emotional battle at the end of the day you're gonna punch this guy's feelings you're gonna snap away this guy's feelings no that doesn't happen. Eminem wins. That's easy. Okay. Number two, Ervin Smith from Attack on Titan. If you put this guy in the Avengers, the battle would have been over like 20 minutes into the movie. So it would have been pretty boring, which is I, like, I get why they didn't put him in it, but you would have had this like elaborate plan. Thanos would have been like, ah, I've got all the infinity stones. And he would have been like, oh, but I switched the infinity stones with rocks. Then they'd all fly in and they'd all transform to Titans and eat Thanos. Anyway, yeah, no, Ervin, Ervin would would win he's way too op number one of course this one no question i knew this from the beginning bully mcguire not just normal spider-man specifically bully mcguire he here's why he wins he'd be like gonna cry and he'd be like i'm gonna kick sand in your eye and all that other stuff he says it's time to do to be spider-man whatever he says like he'd probably take off the gauntlet throw it on the ground and that's not like the worst part because like the other ones could technically do that it wouldn't have the same effect but what bully mcguire does he comes up to thanos dancing away it's like a bird's like mating call he's walking over strutting his stuff he's got the confidence flowing if thanos doesn't fall in love with him right then and there he would probably just combust he wouldn't be able to handle the intensity so just based on that he could win with just his words bully mcguire would win this easily so yeah that's that's it. I, I think I made some good points here. Just some stuff to consider, you know, mold this over in your mind. Think about what I've said. Like and subscribe for more stuff like this. And I'll see you in the next video.